You may have wondered about this before. How effective is your gas stove at home? Today, we will do a simple experiment on a butane gas stove to find out its energy efficiency. For the experiment, we have prepared here 1 liter, that is 1 kilogram of water, which we will bring to a boil on a gas stove. The amount of energy absorbed by the water can be estimated if we know the temperature difference during the experiment according to Mc delta T. At the same time, we can measure the amount of butane gas used to estimate the input energy. Then we can calculate the energy efficiency of the gas stove and also estimate its losses. Let us start the experiment. To save some time, we sped up the video by 32 times. Here, it took about 7 minutes to bring the water to a boil. We can now analyze the energy output and input. The initial temperature of water is 20.2 degrees Celsius and the final temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. As we know the mass of water and its specific heat capacity, we can estimate the output energy to be about 334 kilojoule. To find out how much energy is used, we also measured the initial mass and the final mass of the gas cylinder. The weight drop is 18.1 gram. As the cylinder contains liquid butane, we can tick the higher heating value of liquid butane, which is 49,130 kilojoule per kilogram from a textbook to estimate the energy input. The energy input is therefore about 886.8 kilojoule. Actually, this number is reasonable. As we have used the butane gas for 423 seconds, the input power of the gas stove can be estimated to be 2.1 kilowatt, which is consistent with the specification of the stove. Based on our results, the efficiency of the gas stove is therefore 334 kilojoule divided by 886.8 kilojoule, which is equal to 37.7%. That means more than 60% of the energy is lost somewhere. So you may ask, where is the energy lost to? One obvious source of loss is the evaporation of water during the boiling process. In fact, at the beginning, the mass of the water is 1 kilogram, but after boiling, the water mass is reduced to about 0.962 kilogram. Take the latent heat of vaporization of water of 2,250 kilojoule per kilogram. The energy loss due to water evaporation is about 85.5 kilojoule, which accounts for about 9.6% of the total input energy. A second source of energy loss comes from the combustion process. During combustion of butane, water is generated. The higher heating values assumes that water remains liquid after combustion. In reality, this water is also evaporated, which takes away heat energy. The energy loss is a difference between the higher heating value and the lower heating value of butane times the mass of the butane, which amounts to about 68.3 kJ that is about 7.7% of the input energy. A related energy loss is that of the exhaust. Air is actually not only composed of oxygen, but nitrogen and other gases as well. So for one mole of oxygen, there is approximately 3.76 moles of nitrogen. Therefore, the actual combustion reaction of butane in air has to be mortified with the addition of 6.5 times 3.76 moles of nitrogen on both sides. As the exhaust, which contains carbon dioxide, water, and nitrogen, is heated to a high temperature, this energy is lost to the atmosphere, which can be estimated if we know the exhaust temperature. There are also other losses such as heating up of the pot, radiation from the flame, and convective losses from the pot. All the remaining loss accounts for about 45% of the input energy. Here you may wonder how much energy can be saved by adding a pot cover. To see the effect of it, we will repeat the experiment, but this time with the pot cover. We will also speed up the video to see how fast it will now boil. We can see that the time taken to boil the water is slightly reduced to 6 minutes and 27 seconds. 
Now we can take a look at the numbers. The output energy is about the same, at about 334.9 kJ, as we are still boiling the same amount of water. Though the input energy is now reduced to 803.8 kJ with the shortened time. So the energy efficiency is increased to 41.7%. The same analysis can also be done here to estimate the loss. As we see, the amount of water loss to evaporation has decreased by two-thirds with the cover. So the energy loss is reduced. And because of that, the heating time is shortened by about 30 seconds. This also reduced the energy use and corresponding losses from combustion and the exhaust. Hope you now have a better idea of the energy efficiency of a butane stove and how the energy is lost. An LPG or natural gas stove is expected to also have similar energy efficiency of about 30 to 40%. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.